Donna Klein, Ethan's mom. I'm so sick of this bullshit. I'm so sick of this bullshit. Can't wait to go to her wedding night. And you were taking off the invite the minute you sent Moses that text. They all know what that text was. On the last episode of Frenemies, which we also recorded as well. Everyone was recording it. I, I brought that up. I said, why would your mom text the most vile, disgusting? I can't even speak it right now. I cannot speak it right now. Because she puts she put blame and the weight of something so heavy on me that I have to wait this out now with it because of her. She's a vile scum. I cannot repeat. I can't even put out what she said. And when I asked Ethan, I'm like, your mom texted this? Like, that. that's something that's, un- that's like the nastiest thing I've ever heard from anybody. And he's like, well, I told her not to text that. It's disgusting. What she put... What she placed on me is evil. It's downright evil. I bit my tongue when she's talked about me and compared me to Gabby. I bit it. I bit it. But this, she put a burden on me that I, can't, I will not talk about for a few months, but it's the most disgusting shit. Blaming me for the most vile shit. Ethan sent a hate mob on my sister for making a TikTok that she deleted within an hour. What Ethan's mom texted Moses about me putting this burden on me that if anything were to happen it's on me putting that is an evil monster shit the fact that she even texted i can't even speak it because the fact that she even texted it and put that in writing was so vile and disgusting i have never met a more evil conniving bitch in my life never to put that on me you do not know me you don't even know moses like that and then she has the audacity complains that moses didn't text her back it was disgusting Moses was shook, did not tell me about it for such a long time. And then once I heard, I've been carrying this. I've been sick to my stomach over this. I am just so terrified of this, of what she said. And I'm just, I'm on eggshells. I won't even speak it right now because it's that disgusting. Do not get involved in my wedding that you were not invited to after that nasty, vile comment. Do not even talk about my relationship. Do not even talk about me because you weren't there. All of this stuff is between me and Ethan. If Ethan wants to talk to his family about this, it's fine. But it's not a personal matter. It's between me and Ethan and Ethan lying. Ethan being a coward. Ethan being a hypocrite. I have admitted to being all of those and more. Ethan can't. And Donna chiming in on this. After she, I would hide in embarrassment and shame after what she texted to Moses. And other people that Moses knows. She texted the same thing. It's vital it's the sickest thing a human could ever say about somebody and to even speak that to even text it what she texted into existence is so disgusting and it shakes me to the core it makes me sick you're not invited to the wedding because of everything that's been done on the internet i mean even including your own son ethan who said some of the sickest shit about people what you said is the sickest i've ever seen it's disgusting disgusting behavior it keeps complaining. Oh, Trisha can't stop talking about me. A week ago, you put me in the title on the thumbnail on Frenemies. You did a whole episode. Trisha pays for Gabby Henning when you know she triggers me, comparing me, saying I'm the same person, that they were the same person, that I'm a liar. Show me a lie. Oh, that's right. I caught you in the lies on the last Frenemies. The dad talking about my weight and you laughing at it and shit. That is some fucked up shit. My sister went into hiding after you bullied her on your platform. You are a bully. I don't believe in deep platforms. I don't believe in strikes, but you are a bully and you harass people saying, do not act like you are above high and mighty. And that goes for your mom. Don't act like you guys are above high and mighty that you can't be touched. You're putting stuff on the internet. You're still talking about me. I'm allowed to do the same. It wasn't personal, but you're making it personal. Bring my wedding, bring all this shit. It's vile. The stuff she said is vile. Nothing I did, nothing anyone did has warrant that kind of burden, that kind of wait on somebody you are the biggest hypocrite you can talk about everyone you want but the minute i no one else can talk about you